All right, friends, another day, another emergency landing. This one happened just today. I wanted to get to it while I'm on a layover here in London and give you my analysis of what went on. This is FedEx 3609 out of Newark, New Jersey. I've flown many, many times out of Newark, New Jersey. I was based there. I flew the Boeing 767. This is FedEx 3609. They're flying a Boeing 767, same airplane as mine. Uh, they have a bird strike shortly after takeoff and then fire. Stick with this one all the way to the end because this gets really tense towards the end. Let's take a look. FedEx 3609, heavy contact departure. Good day. FedEx 3609, heavy switching. So long. Come on, Tower United 2014. Wow. Coming up the guitar, we're staying with you. I mean, yeah, you get that picture, that'll get your attention. Right after they got handed off is when they hit the birds. About 400 feet is when they'll hand you off. That's about when they hit the bird. I went through the right engine, and you can see the flames coming out of that right engine. I'll talk about that more in a minute. Tax 3609, go ahead. Wow. Kind of quiet for a minute. FedEx 3609 just hit a bird. We're declaring emergency, returning the airfield. FedEx 3609, ready to contact departure 2855. I'll let them know. Okay, why was there that hesitation? Well, the crew is trying to fly the airplane. They're doing the My Aircraft. Then they're grabbing a checklist. They're, they see uh, fire warnings come up on the screen. That means they've got to put fire suppressant into that engine. Each engine has two fire bottles. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, they put at least one of them into that engine. They're not sure exactly what happened. They probably saw the birds fly by, so they know it was a bird strike. But now they're going to start what I would do, a racetrack pattern back to the airport. I'm going to start an immediate right-hand turn. I'm going to tell Newark Tower what I'm doing because I want to get back to pavement as quickly as I can. Let's see how they do. Jazz 872, um, cancel landing clearance. Turn left. Turn left and climb. Turn left and climb, Jazz. Yeah, Newark Tower begins to clear everybody out. That's a normal routine at a at a tower. They've got airplanes coming in. Get off the runway. They're getting people off the runway. They're clearing the traffic coming in. Uh, sorry, uh, Spirit 341, make two left turns off the runway. Yeah, Mike. I'm sorry, right turn, Mike. Right turn, Papa, short of whiskey. This tower controller right now wishes he had three or four arms. He's got help up in the tower, but he's busier than a one-armed paper hanger. Mike, Papa, short Spirit 341. Jazz 872, fly heading 220, maintain 3000. Heading 220, 3000, Jazz 872. Jazz is the first Tower, airplane Fittings, in line. Uh, 30, 3609, yeah, we're right engine shut down for a uh, possible third strike. We need to return back to uh, the airport. Right. 3609, have you, have you called departure on 2855? We'll switch to them, then we'll be back in a minute. Okay, so FedEx is still on the frequency with Tower. He was told to switch. They're busy up there. They're running the checklist. They're shutting down the engine. Now they've got the engine shut down. They've still got the fire warning on the screen. They can't see the engine out the window, so they don't know if it's still got flames or if it's just residual heat. So at this point, they want to get around as fast as they can. They're talking to Tower. Tower hands them to Departure, who's going to hand them back to Tower. It's not going to take any more time to do that. But that's the normal procedure. But notice the racetrack pattern that they're taking here as they come back around as the tower controller takes all those other airplanes coming inbound and gets rid of them. New York Tower, Spare Wings, uh, 210 on the stadium visual tonight. Spirit Wings is the third airplane in line. United 2014, cancel landing clearance, uh, fly southbound 220, fly 220, uh, and climb and maintain 3000. United is the second airplane 220, in line. climb, maintain 3000, cancel landing clearance, United 2014. Okay, so you can see Our on your screen all three. We believe we saw their engines fall off the right wing. Okay, now... Spirit calls up and says, we think we saw their engine fall off the right wing. It's going to turn out that the engine did not fall off their right wing. We're going to see that in a minute because we've got some great video of them rolling out on the runway. It could have been the bird or the birds, or it could have been something from the inside of the engine. The engines are designed, it's a thing called a nacelle, right? And it's, it's basically the container of the engine. It's designed to contain everything, even if there's a catastrophic failure, to keep it all within the engine. It's also designed to keep the fire within the engine. This uh, engine works exactly the way it was designed. You see the flames coming out the underneath part of the engine and the back of it, but it doesn't spread to the wing, and that's the important part. It's working as designed, even though it's a catastrophic failure. FedEx up. Uh 
I'm sorry, Spare Wings 210, Newark Tower, you on? Yeah, we checked in um, the stadium visuals tonight. Spare Wings 210, uh, can't see your landing, uh, I'm sorry, can't see your approach clearance. Turn right heading 290, climb and maintain 3000. 290 up to 3000, Spare Wings 210. Now, the tower controller sounds distracted. The reason is because he's talking to fire control on one hand. He's talking to uh, ground control on the other. He's talking to, to the departure controller to get this FedEx guy. And he's got all these things going on all at once. And he's trying to get it all out. Very professional. Does a good job. Guys, 872, contact departure, 12855. One two eight five five. Still cleaning yeah, up. Yeah, 2014. Contact departure 12855. Still cleaning 1, up. 12855. Good day, United 2014. Spare wings 210. Expedite your clients to 3000, please. We're expediting Spare wings 210. He knows FedEx is going to come right behind him. Contact departure 12855. Cleaning up the screen. 12855. Spare wings 210. Let me do a big shout out to Voss Aviation. They do a great job with the graphics and uh, they get these things out right away. We really appreciate the work that they do. Go check them out. You're going to love that channel. We can hang at 785 and Spirit 341. You might as well shut down. Uh, we might be a couple minutes. Those are ground airplanes. Spirit 341. Tower, Okay, now the fire Kyle, people Kyle. start coming Kyle, in. Kyle, 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 two, two, left at four. I need to do an inspection. Two, two. This is uh, one of the, nine, nine, proceed on to runway two two left. The subject aircraft is on a ten mile final. This is one of the pickup trucks, and they're going to go Not inspect the runway. Two, left, from, uh, from Why are they inspecting the runway? They don't know where they hit the bird, and there might be parts on the runway, so they're going to make sure it didn't happen there. One of the other airplanes is going to chime in and say, "I don't think it was on the runway." FedEx thirty six on our heavy fly heading one eight zero. Fable, we'll give me the souls on board. Hey, one eight zero heading three souls on board and uh, plenty of fuel and FedEx. 3609 heading. Listen to how calm FedEx 3609 is. These guys are calm and cool pilots. Um, they've got everything under control at this point. He's going to give them the typical, uh, what are our intentions, how many souls on board. And then he says plenty of fuel. That's not really what they want. They're not concerned that you have enough fuel to get back to the field. They want to know how much fuel that the fire department might have to deal with if there's a worse accident on the ground. But plenty of fuel, fuel works for now. And Colonel, I'm pretty sure he hit it on the uh, ascent, not on the runway. All right, copy that, thanks. Okay, so the runway's clear. Yeah, he was about 400 feet, and then uh, something came off the engine, uh, probably about five, 600 feet, fell out of the ground. Yeah, okay, uh, I think he had a bird strike. He uh, lost the, the right engine. Might have been the birds. Tower, FedEx 3609 emergency, uh, still indicating right engine fire, 2-2 two, two left. Okay, this is tense, because I can tell you from the cockpit, you want that fire light to go out. When you when you fire the bottles of, of fire extinguisher into the uh, engines, and we carry two fire extinguishers per engine, when you fire off that second bottle, you want that fire light to go out. That gives you a warm fuzzy that the fire has been extinguished. The fire light is still on, and guess what? The fire is still flaming out there on the wing. This gets much more tense. Hang in there. Fix 3609 Heavy North Tower, uh, continue inbound, uh, vehicle on the runway. Okay, we'll be stopping on the runway, FedEx 3609 Heavy. Okay, they're going to stop on the runway. Tower 99 is off, 22 left, nothing found. FedEx 3609 Heavy, clear lane, runway 22 left, wind 2205, uh, will you uh, be evacuating? They're not sure yet, so they don't answer that question. Probably busy right now. FedEx 3609, no visible fire, it appears no visible fire or smoke coming from the right engine. That's going to turn out to not be true. Okay, so... When you get information, remember it's being dispensed. So hang in there. Copy, copy. You're still stopping on the runway. Still Pettis, stopping on the runway. No, Roger. Why do they stop on the runway? To give the fire trucks enough room to get around the airplane and put the fire out. And if you have to evacuate, to evacuate. FedEx 369, heavy uh, disregard, my last. It does appear you're the right engine uh, is emitting fire. Now he's got the binoculars out. Yep, we still we see flames now. All right, here they are. They've touched down. Look at this. FedEx 36, you want to have your copy of my last? Stand by. But look at this. Look at how well contained the fire is. It hasn't spread to the wing. It's coming out basically kind of the back and the bottom of the engine. I, I've got thousands of hours on this very airplane and uh, very well designed. Uh, that, that fire has been burning for some time. It's been burning for the five or six minutes we've been doing this video. And it's still burning, but it hasn't burned up to the wing. The system is working. They're going to get it put out here in just a minute.
All right, go ahead, 36090. It does appear that there is smoke and fire from the right engine now. Yep, okay. Copy. It's confirmed. Copy, he says. FedEx 3609 Heavy stopping on the runway. Okay, tells them what they're doing. Uh, Roger. Tower 22 left is closed. Roger, 22 left closed. FedEx 3609, parking brake set. We're running checklist, uh, listening on frequency. Okay, all three things. And, uh, tower, is the fire uh, chief on the radio here? Probably the captain. Yes, sir, he's listening. Uh, all we see is smoke coming from the uh, from the affected area now. He comes a fire chief. Okay, uh, fire chief, this is uh, FedEx 3609. Uh, FedEx from uh, rescue. Did you blow bottles? Yes, we blew both bottles on the right engine, and uh, we had a fire indication all the way down until landing. Okay, you know what bottles are now, right? Each engine has two fire bottles with fire extinguisher in it. They've blown both bottles, and the fire light didn't go out. He said we had the fire indication all the way through landing. You know why they had it? Because they were on fire, okay? And the fire chief now, out of the airplane, they're going to extinguish the fire. That's affirmative. You still do. Uh, we're going to still uh, do. Uh, and uh, put some water on it. Okay, okay, would you recommend that we get out or? Tower, uh, this is 3609. Uh, great work, guys. Thank you. You guys okay? Right now, we're standing by. It's probably the captain we, of the airplane. We struck the birds uh, starting that left turn just passing 500 feet, so probably about seven, 800 feet uh, is when the birds uh, in, uh, took out the right engine. Okay, Roger. Thank you. Okay. Gives them the details. And that's it. It's a successful outcome in Newark, New Jersey, um, that you look at that airplane and it could have been a whole lot worse, but the system worked again. You see the professionalism of everybody involved, the firefighters, the uh, ground and tower controllers, the pilots who stay calm and cool, even the other airplanes that are coming into the airport. They're expecting to land. They've been told to go around, right? Everybody cooperates. It's crisp. It's clean. It's very professional. Uh, and even as the engine is still on fire, as they touch down, the fire department is there within seconds to extinguish that. So shout out to our, my first responders all over the place. Um, you guys do a fantastic job. So great. Another great outcome. <sighs> Folks, another day, another emergency. I wish this stuff would, um, would not happen. But here it is. And now you know. I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe.